Good afternoon. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and this is Bill and we are here with the girls in Gardening Zone 6B in New England. The girls have been home now for two days, yep. two days and two nights and they're starting to adjust really well. They're still a little bit shy. Um, but they're getting used to us. They will accept a cruise by petting. Um, and they're hanging out on the logs with us here, which is pretty cool. What you are about to see is the culmination of three weeks worth of really hard work on this guy's part and Liberty's part. They turned our old shed into a home for the goats and built an enclosure and got this place all set up for them. Um, so come on along and we'll show you how it got done. So there is some industrial nonsense going on here and I, I absolutely hate it. Um, but let's talk about big plans for stuff. So the plan is that this is going to be the goat run and it'll be enclosed to all the way down there where Bill has cleared a patch for the shed. It's also going to go back into these branches a little bit. I have no idea where we're going to put these things yet, except that. That's going to be a goat feeder. So what I've already done is gone in the back with my phone and a plant identification app and took some pictures and got some, got some uh, 411 on what's going on back there. The only thing that we've got that looks like a goat hazard is there is some periwinkle and I'm gonna be pulling that out in the next couple of days. This is periwinkle, it's common periwinkle, um, which I don't know if common periwinkle is as dangerous as some others like the broadleaf periwinkle, but I'm not gonna take any chances. So we may be really lucky. I'm back here beside the goat shed. Um, the periwinkle only seems to come up to about here. And then suddenly, so much Cassandra, which is fine for goats. Um, and there's a lot of hydrangea, which I think is fine for goats, but they're not interested in eating it. So, huh, I'm feeling lucky. There's a little bit of periwinkle over there, but it might actually wind up being out the side of the goat shed. Let's see what's going on underneath. A uh, little bit of it underneath. So we'll just comb through the underbrush and pull out periwinkle that we see, but it looks like it's mostly Pachysandra, which is freaking great. So that shed is going to become the goat hut and we're gonna be putting up fencing and most importantly, we're gonna make this look nice. We have a coop and a shed coming today, today I hope. Um, and we want it to match. So the guys are gonna take down this ugly siding and replace it with cladding. We had originally planned to do that with pallets, but it turns out that this is one of those, we need to set this up soon so we can't really afford to just spend all this time looking for pallets and then ripping them apart and cutting them down and placing them. So the guys just went ahead and they bought some cladding and they're gonna start ripping down the siding on this in order to put up the cladding. If you start, I was gonna say, if you start pulling it, I'll grab it when I have a handhold. Oh my God. See what's <laughs> Come here, come here, bring the camera. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. So maybe we should be a little, oh, watch. Let's Bugs. see if we can save it. Yeah. Well. Holy crap. Yeah, it's nailed in. I cannot believe these shingles are under here. The original plan was to buy shingles because we thought that underneath this was just particle board. Wow. Oh, huh. What so is it? What do we want to do? I'm assuming this has probably changed our plans. 
I want to see what the rest of it looks like. If it's not trash, we could probably pick up like three or four packs of cedar shingles and patch it. Just patch it. And then just stain the whole thing. This is what camp is like. It's got the cedar. And this is just stapled in. We could do this with the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we're gonna be able to salvage this because it's all dry rotted. Oh. It's just, it's falling apart. That's probably why they put the siding on in the probably. first place. Ah, uh, that's they a shame. They replaced all the corner supports. So I bet this thing was falling down and they rebuilt it. Oh, okay. Well, do you still wanna do the cladding? Probably, it's probably gonna be the easiest. Okay. I'll have to take all this off though. What, the wood? Yeah. No, I just go right Just go there. over it? Yeah. Two inches off at the end, so it slides in here, and then just <coughs> slide the first one right like that and just tack her way down. These are never gonna come out. Right. Wait, where is it? Uh, come on, autofocus. Yeah. All right, so here's what 40 minutes looks like. It's our first 40 minutes doing this, so it'll probably be more efficient afterwards. Oh yeah, and one more, one more detail before we get into the, the siding itself. We forgot, or we didn't forget, we didn't realize, but when we pulled the siding down, there's a gap here. You can see they kind of just nailed it in to nothing. Um, so we're gonna fix that. Look, I'm gonna give y'all a proper garden tour in a week or so when things really start coming together, but this is the state of affairs at the moment. We are looking good and right where we should be. Holy crap, the guys have gotten so much done here in just this afternoon. We've got two sides of this. All they've got left on the front are the peak and the sides. And then I think tomorrow Bill is going to start cutting the secondary door on the, the far side over there. We have a window problem to solve, right? We're just going to cover over the window. Say again? We're just going to cover over the window and pretend it doesn't exist. Really? Really. It's totally built in. So uh... I have to disassemble that whole section to take the window out and then I have to fill it and 
we're going to cover over both sides anyway, so okay. screw it. Archaeologists in the future will have a field day with our goat hut. Ta-da! All right, so this is what it looks like right now. We're going to do some platforms. There will be a new door on that side under the window. It's going to be a, a short door that slides that way um, from the outside. And we'll do a couple little platforms on the inside. Then they'll need a place for hay and a waterer. So we have started the measuring out and marking for the goat pen. It's going to be 38 feet long from the, the goat house and 12 feet across. And we've got all the, all the markings in, the post hole markings in. And we've got the snap line in so we know we're, we're mostly straight. And now comes the fun part where we dig 24 holes. So we measured out the, the post holes this morning and dug them out. And now we've got the four by four posts in and shimmed and level up and down and forward and back. Pack some rocks and dirt in and now we're gonna put in concrete and secure them in place. I wanna know more about this concrete. It's because I've never I've never used such a thing before. It's high strength concrete mix. Okay. And what you're supposed to do is mix it with water until it gets a clumpy consistency and you pour it in. But the other thing you can do with fence posts is put it in dry and then wet it down in place and it sets overnight. Okay, so the posts are all in, and now it's time to let them set overnight, and we'll come back to this tomorrow morning. Happy Independence Day, y'all. Happy Independence Day. It's goat day, I hear. It is. So what all is left? This run looks freaking great. I'm gonna put, finish putting the gate on, put the ramp in, and set up the feeders, and give it a final clean. We scored the girls some cool logs to play on. Hello, pretty babies. So this is Jen. Hi. And who is this kid? This is Dread Pirate Roberta. Oh, baby girl. She's about nine weeks old. Ugh, I love the spots on your nose, sweetheart. Goodness. She's and a cuddle butt. We're keeping our horns. We're keeping our horns. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Hello, pumpkin. Hi. 
Hello. Cynthia making you pretty noises. And she is currently Valerie. This is Valerie, yes. Hi, bud. Hi, Phil. You want to be Piper? And they are blue-eyed goats. Oh, my goodness. So pretty. Do you want to be Piper? You should be Piper because you make a lot more noise than Dread Pirate Roberta does. We'll have Piper and Drummer. Yep. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. She wants down desperately. Is that her mama? That's her mama. Baby. That's Star. Hi, Star. Hi. You good girl. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Look at their little mohawks. Ooh. Yeah, there's tin cans over there. They listen to me, you know. Hey, you are very beautiful. Oh. Hi. Okay. Yeah, I don't want her up there either. So there you have it. Um, tonight's adventure is going to be figuring out how to change the orientation or the placement of the feeder because goats goats um and uh yeah we have goats now so thanks for coming along with us and i'm sure we will bring you lots more goat stuff as it happens lots and lots goat stuff. we'll catch you up soon take care bye